Well, look, and you know what? That burst of energy about the weekend can be equaled by a forecast that actually looks better and better for us. Uh, I mean, Saturday was always looking good. It still is. At times, today's air is going to be nearly still, almost exactly quiet. That's because the center of high pressure or fair weather is coming right over us. But you can't warm up if until that goes by. So the new wind direction that warms us will start this evening. That leads to a warmer weekend. Sunday afternoon showers and Sunday night, there'll be wind and possible thunder that swings through. Temperature right now is varied. Where the wind died down, like Bedford, it's 19. Where there's a bit more of a breeze, like Fitchburg or Worcester up the hills, it's 30, 31. Same deal at Boston right now as well. That's good because it shows you there's at least some milder air that's above our heads, if you consider 30 and 31 to be milder. So as you go through the day today, some of that mixes down to the ground, but the light wind we have kind of limits how much of that mixing we do, and that means that the temperature doesn't go very far today. It does go at least to 40 to 45 degrees for many of us down to the south and west. Plenty of mild air to be had. I actually think uh, that the air that's down over eastern Texas is the stuff that's going to be in here by Sunday night and the Monday morning. So we are going to jump into the 60s by later on Sunday and Sunday night, believe it or not. be an exceptionally mild night Sunday night. Highs today are running about 40 or so, a little bit over that generally when you get especially near and south of the pike, maybe a touch under when you come to the Merrimack Valley. Overnight tonight, not as cold. It's still cool and it's still sub-freezing for most of the suburbs. Now, that brings us tomorrow. There's going to be increasing clouds tomorrow. The worst that you'd see out of those clouds is an evening or late day sprinkle. What's happening is the milder air is coming in and colliding with the outgoing cold. So it makes a lot of clouds. But if it doesn't rain on you and the temperatures are up into the 50s, which they will be, that's a pretty good day. Now, Sunday, I've stopped things at 11 a.m. Notice that even by late morning at 11, there may be a couple of showers into Worcester County. So you may get started with the showers during the late morning. I just didn't want to overlook that. For the vast majority of us, the first showers will develop during the afternoon. It then turns into a rain off and on on Sunday evening and a heavier burst of downpours with embedded thunder that's possible Sunday late night into Monday early morning. There will be strong winds with this damaging wind gusts a possibility and we turn it to snow up in the ski areas at least of northwestern New England before we all cool down and dry out on Monday afternoon. So in terms of the wind, Sunday at midday, it's getting breezy. It's not a big deal. By the time we get to, let's say, Sunday at 11 p.m., the gusts of 40 to 50 are arriving to the south coast. And we may briefly gust to 55 or greater in eastern mass with power outages Monday early morning before that kicks east. Total rainfall amounts, these may come down a little bit. A lot of times with these events that you get more wind, but you get less rain as you get closer to it. But it looks like about an inch of rain right now. And in terms of that mountain snow I was telling you about, it still looks like it did yesterday when I showed this to you from our exclusive in-house forecast system 8 to 12 and 12 to 18 inches across northern Vermont, maybe the great north woods of New Hampshire. I'm not too worried about that stuff in Worcester County. I think probably our exclusive guidance is going a little overboard on that, but it does show you we'll keep our antenna up. Monday, it's going to be warm in the morning with the rain, the possible thunder, the wind, and then the temperatures fall through the 40s during the afternoon, and we stay seasonable after that for next week.